All right, before we get started here, let me take a sip of my, my, my murky mug. This is my Christmas gift, by the way. I hope everyone had a happy holiday. Tarkov is a drug that you can't stay sober from. You can try if you want. You can promise yourself that you're never touching that game because last time you played it, you got a little upset. But that's not possible because whenever wipe happens and your friends are on Discord and you see them screen sharing Tarkov to each other, making call outs, having a fun time, you think, man, that looks good. And you play it. And at this point, you will go down two paths and it is inevitable. Path one. You will have the most fun with your friends you've ever had on any game ever. Yeah, that thing's pretty, that thing's pretty, you feel way pointed at me? Don't shoot me, Blake, pointed at me? Nah, yo, come look at the silencer. Look at, look at where the, like, placement of the hole is. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, let me see the hole? I want to look down the hole. Uh -oh. <laughs> other side, other side, other side, other side of the... Aaron's <laughs> fucking dead. Other side of the... Bum. I thought you were doing the singing monsters for a second. <laughs> Bum. In path two, you will go to the darkest place mentally you've ever been and see things that you never thought of and say things to yourself that you never even thought possible. <gasps> no! 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 Over here, or... dude. Fuck this map. This will happen. Now, Tarkov just wiped, and besides the unending anguish and the inability to actually escape Tarkov, it is incredibly fun and very engaging. And this is probably one of the better wipes that they've done. So that is what today's topic's about: the new Tarkov wipe. My name is Cambrodia, and if you could subscribe to me, that would mean the absolute world. I hope everyone had great holidays, and let's get straight into the video. Also, this is my cat, Dyer. I'm sorry, I'm showing- I'm, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, before this wipe, controlling the player felt a little like a Rockstar game, or that of a geriatric male, for that matter. But, this has been since then pretty, pretty much fixed in my opinion. Now, there's definitely some tweaks that they could make here and there by- by this- by this fucking movement right here. You see this? You see this little vaulting animation? Oh my god, it makes the game 10 times more playable. It's by far one of the best additions they've ever had for me. No longer getting stuck on a fucking bookcase that's like this high, that's like this high off the ground. You guys can't see it because you can't see my feet. That's like this high off the ground is so, it, its biggest headache reliever of my life. Now with this, they've also implemented a new recoil system, which Again, makes it so much more easy to, to control uh, base stat weapons. Beforehand, whenever I took in my base M4, or any base gun relay for that matter, especially the AKSs and AK-74Us, the base gun had an immense amount of recoil and kick that was awful. But now, uh, you can actually use base weapons and they're pretty good. In fact, for the most part on the map Ground Zero, which we're going to fucking get to that later, on the map Ground Zero, I used the base stat M4 and it worked wonders. And uh, it was I was fucking wrecking people with it. You can just take the carrying handle off, slap a side on, or for that matter, just, just use the carrying handle because it's really not that bad of a sight to begin with, and you're good. Especially with the MDR, if you just slap a side on the base MDR, dude, you could fucking murk some kids with that shit. But these are two rather large changes, but there's a change in particular that they added that changed the entirety of the game and how it functions. And that is the way that armor works. Now, the armor used to work like it was a static thing. You got a rig, you knew what armor level that rig was, and you could just use it, and uh, you couldn't take off the plates, put in new plates, it was fixed to that rig. Now the armor stat is fixed to the plates that you put in that rig. Along with this, they've added a whole new hitbox that actually covers and tells you which parts of the body your armor is covering. Now this means that some parts of your body are still exposed while you have armor on, just like in real life. Now as a byproduct of this, you see this fucking guy right here, that your armpit? That is now the number one kill zone in this game. The amount of times I have fallen over to only see the death message that I was killed from my armpit is at least more than 10. Whenever you see someone, you better not turn to your side because you will be slumped faster than Tagillo running at you. I swear to God, that guy, that guy's got fucking V8 in his legs, dude. Now, Ground Zero was also added, and quite frankly, 
I like the map. I think that it is very open, but in a good way, pretty, pretty uh, straightforward in terms of how the map design is actually made. Now, here's the issue that I encountered. Since I am a content creator and I wanted to get kind of the day one feeling of the game, I hopped on day one of wipe trying to do ground zero task. And what uh, what what followed was a bunch of essentially homeless Usec and bears level one players fighting over quest items as if they're a crown full of jewels. Whenever I'm telling you that I had to do some terrible things to get to my level to get my ground zero quest done and I had some terrible things done to me. Oh my god. Ground Zero was almost my fucking demise, man. I almost died. And this is caused by it mainly being a very small map. Now, there are some hot spots like the Terror Group building or uh, the building where you have to go find the LMGs and for your quest, of course, and even the car extract for the quest, of course. Um, but the map's not very big, and it, it looks big whenever you first get onto it because it's outside and open, but once you quickly learn the boundaries, it's generally like maybe twice or three times the size of Factory, if that, and uh, it's all outside, so you can pretty much see across the entire map and you can just see everyone and it's, it's a bloodbath but it is a good map now there's some bullshit on it i it's some, some bsg bullshit let me clarify that with the mines you know what i'm talking about now along with the addition of ground zero there was also a big addition to streets and it's a fucking tank now with the addition with the tank the brt it also can deliver items to your stash in an hour that are found in raid so if you get a quest item on you and you find the BRT on streets, you can go into it, pay the guy, deliver it to its stat to your stash, and it'll still be found in raid. That is that's fucking that's huge. So now I'm not clenching my ass whenever I have a T plug in my in my backpack because I can go to the BRT and get it taken to my stash for me. Dude, you have no my butt was clenched so tight it could make fucking diamonds, man. Uh, now our god and savior Nikita, he's also Satan in some cases. Um decided to make the game snow now I, I this happened while i was in game you didn't have to exit your game to make this function you didn't have to update it it just started snowing in the middle of a raid for me and it was probably one of the coolest experiences i've ever had on tarkov just the atmosphere completely changed it makes the world feel so much more cold and dead and just hardcore and it looks absolutely beautiful uh, i'll look, just look at the footage in the background here some of this it's just so pretty and part of me wishes that it could stay like this but that's also what makes it so special is because it's here temporarily uh shoreline also got an expansion which i haven't seen because i fucking hate that map and i'm on a massive amount of copium right now because i die on that map every time i go on it i'm sorry we all have that one map that we hate mine is shoreline i'm i'm sorry overall this wipe is probably it is most definitely for that matter one of the better ones now there is some laundry issues and lagging and desync and desync from servers but that's pretty standard whenever it comes to bsg and their updates um but other than that i'm having a great time on this wipe and it's it's genuinely one of the most polished wipes we've had that's my experience if you're experiencing something different please let me know because i would love to hear your take on the wipe but I think that that is pretty much uh, all I have to say. There will be a Project Zomboid video come, coming up here in a couple of days. I hope you're excited for that shit. Uh, but I hope that everyone had a great holidays and uh, have a great new year. It, it, whenever I upload this, it'll probably be January 1st, 2024. So I hope everyone has a good day. Uh, I will see you guys next time.